Hello everybody, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Once again with the bear grind, we've started to get things to go a bit more smooth and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how I've been able to do that as well as showing off some of the trophies that I have got in the last couple of days since our last bear video. So there's a couple things that I've been doing to kind of make things a little bit more smooth and reliable. After hunting for the bears last few days, attempting to try different methods of maybe getting them to show up to their zones quicker, I've discovered that there really is no way to make the males show up faster, at least as far as I can tell. So instead what I have been doing is I've been going to my least populated zones first. That way by the time I get to my good zones like this one right here, all of the bears will typically be already at their drink zones. So I've been spending my first couple hours of every uh, drink time for the uh, bears by hunting these lower zones down here where I don't have nearly as many males. And then by the time that I've spent a couple hours checking these areas and picking off what males I could find, I get to these zones and all of them typically do have their males. So that's what I've kind of been doing to make sure that when I get to the good areas, they actually do have uh, bears for me to actually shoot. But something else I've heard people throughout the community talking about is that a lot of times if you visit a zone, the next time you visit it during the same play session, they typically will get there a little bit quicker. Nobody really knows why this is the case, but I've heard a lot of people say that I should give it a try going to all of the different uh, zones that I'm going to be hunting uh, the second I get on to the game. And then apparently for the rest of the grinding session, it should be okay and they should be a little bit more reliable. I haven't really tested that out thoroughly, but it seems a lot of people have done it in the past and it, it does seem like it will improve it a little bit so we're gonna be trying that also but uh so far like i said just going to those lower zones first has made it so my main zones have had more bears in them consistently just because i'm giving them time to arrive at their zones and uh, i definitely think that's what we're going to do from now on until we can figure out like a better way but to be honest there might not even be a better way to do it there, we've got ourselves another level five black bear and recently we've actually been getting a lot more mythicals and uh, level nines and uh, just larger sixes and sevens so i'm hoping that we are on some type of good luck streak where maybe we will end up getting ourselves uh, a great one sometime soon i'm hoping at least it's probably wishful thinking as it's only a couple days as of the time of recording this before we will be putting it up to a poll once again and letting you guys vote on what we're going to be hunting and uh, to be honest by the time this video releases that poll will probably have already happened and you guys will have already voted for what we're going to be grinding the next week uh bears will probably be included in it just uh in case you guys want to see more of the bear hunting but uh we will see I know when I first decided that we were going to change it up every single week and let you guys vote for it, I said I would uh, not include the same thing two weeks in a row, but I, the more I got to thinking about it, if you guys want to see the same thing two weeks in a row, then I guess it should be an option for y'all to be able to vote for it. So we are going to uh, include bears on the poll most likely as well, even though that is what we had been hunting for this past week. It's been uh, quite a bit of fun and you guys have seemed to enjoy it, so we'll keep it on the poll just to see if you guys want to see it again. I've also had a few people asking why whenever I shoot a bear here, I don't immediately go claim it and instead shoot these first. It's because if I go to the outpost and then drive the ATV over to claim it, most likely I'd end up spooking off everything that's over here. So we shoot them first and then just claim everything at the two lakes. And uh, that's kind of how we've been doing it to speed it up as well as just not spooking everything off. And there is probably our best bear of the day at 20.24, a very nice level seven. And last but not least, the level 5 that we ended up shooting first, scoring 18.12. Unfortunately, the wind is quite terrible, so I don't know if we're going to get a good shot into any of these, but we should probably check to see if there's any others here. Uh, there definitely is, so let's just take down that level 4, and then we will attempt to get one of the other ones while they run away, if I can even figure out where they've gone in time, which I don't think we're going to be able to. One of the drawbacks to not using the night vision scope, though I just do not like the low levels of zoom that it has, so I uh, tend not to use it, but sometimes in situations like this, it uh, ends up biting me right in the butt as I could not figure out where the rest have gone. 
We may not have got them all, but at least we did end up getting one of them. And we are starting to uh, earn some of our money back from the amount of cash we spent on the moose grind trying to do time resets to get the moose to actually show up to their zones. We have begun to get a lot of that cash back just from the bear grind. It's actually been a relatively good grind to make money, so that has been very nice. Honestly, I'm thinking about starting a lion grind here on the main channel or uh, not the main channel, but on the main account once again instead of doing it on the beginner series account just because I'd like to get a blonde male, I still do not have one. Oddly enough, I've been able to get multiple albinos and one dark brown, but still cannot manage to find a blonde male lion. You know, something else I've been doing during this grind is shooting pronghorn whenever they give me the opportunity because I do want to work towards some other trophies while going for the bear, I feel like I'm wasting time if I don't kind of double grind here as the pronghorn drink at the exact same time that the bears do. So it'd feel wrong if I wasn't shooting a few pronghorn here and there as well. And shooting pronghorn like this just randomly while we're hunting bears has actually yielded a couple trophies. Uh, you guys already saw that leucistic one from a different video, but shortly after that I actually did end up finding a level 5 pronghorn as well. This time at a lake south of the very uh, beginning of the map where you kind of start out with the starting outpost and everything. The lake south of that ended up having a level 5 pronghorn. And I had been to that lake many many times and had seen the pronghorn there, but for some reason I had never seen this guy after about probably seven or eight times being to this lake so this honestly took me by surprise and it very well could have been a respawn but I don't actually remember shooting any pronghorn down in this area so it very well could have been there for a very long time ever since the SRP rework but either way it was still a really awesome thing to come across and a very big diamond even one of the bigger ones that I have killed so that is very very cool but it's been way more than just a pronghorn that we got the last uh, couple days of grinding. Uh, we actually did manage to get our first couple diamonds on this grind as well as a few rares. So I think we're going to start taking a look at those next. And the very first one that we will look at is a level 6 cinnamon bear that we ended up stumbling across. That was uh, not really something I would have expected to find. But it was still really cool to find nonetheless. There's always something about the cinnamon bears where half the time I don't even recognize that I'm looking at a cinnamon bear. Uh, this was definitely one of those situations. It took me a moment to like realize that I was looking at a cinnamon bear and that happens quite often whenever I am looking at them. But it was a very nice level 6 cinnamon bear nonetheless and a pretty cool trophy. This next one was even more crazy though as I didn't even realize what I was looking at until I got up to it. Normally I can decipher what they are after a few seconds or, you know, 10, 20 seconds of looking at it. But uh, sometimes I do have situations where I shoot it and don't even realize what it is and then get up to it and realize that I've shot a rare. This was one of those situations where I didn't understand what I had shot until I got up to it and was about to claim it. And then I realized that it was a level 7 cinnamon bear, which is actually my biggest rare bear of all time if I'm not mistaken. I can't ever recall getting a mythical one, so this is really awesome to find as well. And last but not least for the rare bears comes probably the rarest of all of the ones that I have killed during this last week of bear grinding. We finally found ourselves a blonde black bear and this guy gave me so much trouble to the point where I don't think I even have the footage of when I originally spotted him because I had to go back to his zone probably four times before I could get a clear shot on him. I chased him around for over an hour and then eventually I was finally able to get him back to his zone in an area where I could actually take a shot on him. And so that's what you guys are seeing right now. This is by far the rarest of the rares that we have found during this grind, though not the biggest. You don't see the blondes that often, so it is very cool to get one down. And you guys might be thinking that's it. No, no, we, we got a couple more trophies we found. The bears have been really good to me the last like day and a half to two days. They were not doing so hot the, la the first five days of this grind, but then the last couple actually went really well. And so now we've got ourselves a level nine legendary that I ran across when I was going to one of my favorite lakes. And we went ahead and took the shot on him and got the vitals and it was indeed a diamond bear. And it wasn't the first because we also ended up getting one on live stream. So let's jump into that right now. 
I do love the Seek It Ears, so I can see that being pretty awesome. Wait, is there a bear that drinks over here? No way. No way. It's max weight estimate. <laughs> There's a max weight estimate bear track right here. And my tent's been so close that it hasn't rendered in all this time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I swear to God, guys, if this is a level 9, I'm going to be kind of upset. I'm going to be kind of upset that I didn't know about this zone. Because it's too close to my tent. Wow. What would I think about a Great One Caribou? I think that would be pretty cool, Schrader. I think that would give people a reason to grind them since, I mean, they troll so often. To the point where a lot of people don't like to hunt them a ton. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What? <laughs> Dude! I knew it! I had a feeling that because we haven't seen this zone this entire grind, it would be a 9. And it is. <laughs> That's the scarecrow luck. The only bear that I've never seen during this grind is a level nine. <laughs> oh my gosh. How long has this zone been here? Because I've never checked that side. I've never looked over there because I didn't know they could be drinking on that side. Wow. Yeah, it's guaranteed diamond as well. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's crazy. 194, we got this. <laughs> what was that? What was, I, I shot through him somehow. I shot through him. Yeah, that was only like 180, 190. There's no way we missed. That shot through him. That shot through him 100%. Freaking call the wild, man. Call the wild, giving us the, the weird bugs. Here we go, guys. Let's see what it is. A 2386, and we heart shot it. That was almost max weight and almost max score as well. Super close to max score. And now that you guys have seen all of the trophies from the last few days, uh, we finally found our best bear of the day. This is a level 8 mythical. Let's just drop a shot into him real quickly. And that does appear to be vitals. There was no others in the area, so it is just this guy. But that is our best one uh, since beginning this recording. And there it is, a beautiful mythical black bear scoring 21.75. Not too shabby at all. That is a very good looking bear. Well, I think I've discovered how we can approach this zone without spooking off everything in sight. It appears that we just need to kind of loop around to the right a little bit more, and then that keeps them out of the wind, which is great. So I guess that's what we're going to be doing from now on, because this is actually a loaded zone almost every single run, usually anywhere from like three to five male bears. And it's always nice to see an area like this because they are few and far between on Silver Ridge Peaks. Now let's go ahead and try to uh, blast all of these if we can, and when I say they're few and far between, I'm primarily talking about for the bears. And honestly, we're just going to shoot two because I don't want to delete this zone. I have no idea if they will all come back here if I do, as since I, I can't recall ever doing that before, so just to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and just shoot two of them. There is one of the level fours. I believe this was the second one that we ended up shooting. Uh, let's attempt to figure out where the other one is. It looks like I don't see any blood as of now, so we're going to let our dog try to find it, but uh, it seems like maybe we missed it. Yeah, that does not look like enough hunting pressure. I'm going to have to review the footage again whenever I uh, edit this video, but I am almost positive that we hit that shot. Like, we should have hit that shot. There's no reason why we would have missed. I mean, maybe I somehow put two shots into one bear, but I feel like I shot at one and then shot at the other one twice. I don't know. Well, we're going to have to review it and see what went on, but I'm almost positive that we might have shot through it. And that actually has happened recently. I'm almost sure it was on that level nine that we showed off in this video. I could be wrong. It's been a couple days since we uh, ended up finding that one, but... It's something I have noticed on bears from time to time. There's occasions where it seemingly just goes right through them and doesn't even draw blood. All right, now for test number one, it seems like we do have a good angle now. 
And our stand is actually in a pretty good spot. This is actually going to work out great, I think. Uh, we've got a level 5 that's fleeing. That's probably because I was running, but we will drop a shot into him if we can, and then hopefully we can find that level 4. That should be good right there, and I think I figured out what spooked that uh, first one. It wasn't us. It was this guy. And I just saw a bear out of the corner of my eye. Where did that thing go? Well, it may not be a bear, but we did get ourselves a uh, little mountain lion down in the process of smoking those bears. Did not hit that level four very good, but this five should be dead over here. And it's nice to see that this setup is actually gonna work out good. That tripod seems to be placed pretty well. So I think we should be able to easily hunt this zone for the bears now. Well, uh, maybe we missed that shot as well. I don't know if I'm missing or if the gun is missing, but uh, we're definitely not hitting a lot of these shots that I thought we hit. It's interesting. I, I think we're probably just going to go ahead and jump into the trophy lodge after that because I don't know what's going on here. And here we are in one of the backup lodges to take a look at the cinnamon and the blonde bear as well as these two diamonds right here. We've also got ourselves the other cinnamon over here, and I don't know where to put the pronghorn, so we'll probably have to find a place for him at some point, but uh, he's not going to go into one of the main lodges, so it is what it is. We can always uh, find a place for him later. But that is all of the uh, bear trophies that we have found the last couple days. It's uh, quite the jump up from getting nothing the first five. From going to zero trophies in five days to five in two days is... Uh, pretty crazy, but I'm very happy to see that we were able to finally get something out of this grind instead of it pretty much just being blasting eight and below bears the whole time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below and let me know how much you've been enjoying the black bear grind or if you think we should grind something else and be sure to vote on the poll as always. I hope to see you guys in the next video and I will uh, see you all in the next one. Peace!